Alrighty then, welcome everybody. My name is Thrive. We'll be casting tonight's the Premier League matchup on Cafe One Trick, playing against Appalachian State. Been my first cast in about a three or four months, so take it easy on me. I got my water with me. I've never seen either of these two teams play. So uh, I'm curious to see how they're going to do everything in their power to win the match. And the first ban is going to be a Jackal. Uh, you see that very commonly on Cafe. Cafe is a very big map. Three floors, lots of staircases, lots of hallways. Um, those pesky little roamers are going to get away with their roam game. And one trick is going to ban Flores. I am solo casting tonight, so I'm going to try my best to, uh, I would say, save my breath whenever I can. That way uh, my voice doesn't crack or my voice just wears out and just gets thin by the end of it. Cade is going to get banned. Uh, Cade's very popular on the kitchen site with that um, the safety of getting the Cade cause up by the... Um, bakery wall as well as the freezer hatch and the final ban is going to be Valkyrie so we're going to start this thing off with one trick being on attack and the first site is obviously going to be our cocktail from Appalachian State that is the most common starting site on this map at least in this uh, tier of competitive siege going to turn up my volume a little bit because I cannot hear the game maybe it's my headset a little bit quiet but hopefully that'll fix it on the uh, stream end And here we go. This is Cafe. I'm going to change my display settings. Always forget to do that. All right, there we go. We are up and running. So this is Cafe. Uh, as you see, three, three very, very layered floors. Lots of rooms. Lots of hallways. Uh, we typically are going to see a shield with an ADS over on the pixel corner. And we're going to see some surrogates being put down on the cigar shop doorway. And a Malusi Banshee, I believe, is most likely going to be on the new Balk. Yes, it is. It's going to be on the new Balk drop. And we're going to get right into it. Uh, the key for uh, one trick is to just try to get that pixel control as soon as possible. Um, if they're going to go for the standard um, cigar lounge take on the windows... Uh, you're gonna have one guy on the hat or one guy on the skylight, a couple guys on the windows, trying to burn that utility, and they're gonna try to do their best to just force their way into that pixel side. That way they can get the plant off on the shiko position or trash on cocktail. And as we already said that we are gonna be seeing one trick being repelled up on the windows, as I predicted. We're just trying to scope out the area. Ooh, that is a very cheeky angle coming out from Vantic. Onto Tay. And that's going to be Tay taken out. The first blood is going to go to one trick. So we see the Goyo canister going to get popped. That's going to delay the rappel in for quite some time. Not a lot of downstairs presence, though, coming in from Appalachian State. At least I think they're called Appalachian State. I'll just call them App State. That way I don't seem like a complete and utter fool uh, on the bro on the vod on the broadcast. My apologies, everybody. And Wall Tricks seem to be taking their time taking uh, this pixel side. We've got Golden coming in with the drone. I hope that they're going to spot Uno all the way on Memorial or on the wheel. 
And Golden's going to be repelling in. He's going to go try and look for that opening pick on the pixel side. They already got one kill up. And Ace is going to take out Glue. That is your Jaeger. And Golden's making his way in. Golden's going to get spotted. Doesn't know what to do. And Uno is going to get a kill. Boom is going to get a kill. And it's all falling apart for one tray. What is going on? They're all bundled up inside a cigar lounge trying to just... And to play off of one another, trying to get those trade game going. Wolfspur is going to be on the drone, though. He's going to try to find an opening pick. His drone's going to get shot. And it seems to be both teams are just testing themselves, seeing how aggressive the attack is going to be, meanwhile, how aggressive the defense is going to be. And Chrono is going to get rewarded for the aggression. He's going to get that kill on the Uno. Bam is also going to take some HP. Volsper is going to kill Bam, and it is down to a 2v1. It went from a 5v4 to a 3v3 to a 3v2, and now it's a 2v1 with Chrono going to go for the plant. Is Boom going to be able to spot it? I think he hears it. He is going to guess, but he's going to pop that Goyo canister. Chrono is going to take a significant amount of damage. All... One trick I have to do is hold this, but no, boom! <laughs> He's going to go boom on the kill. And Volspro is going to get taken out. He's going to go for the defuse, but I don't think that's going to happen. Chrono is going to be crouch walking, kind of just playing cat and mouse games. Nitro Cell coming out from boom is going to go no one's land. And I think this round is going to go to one trick by the skin of their teeth. You cannot defuse prone. I don't know what you're doing there. No! No! What are you doing? Oh, oh, my heart! Chrono, what are you looking at? <laughs> oh, my lord. A couple more seconds and that would have been a throw of the century. And one trick are going to find themselves a one nothing up. A very close round. Um, I think uh, one trick really have to clean up the attacks. They did have the early man advantage. But I don't know what happened on the site push. The trade game just kept happening. And one trick cannot afford to do that. Especially when they're a man up so early into the round. They really need to take their time and decide on what they want to do for the push. Because they took Pixel, they took Cigar, they took Shop. But with all that um, concentration on that side, you have to realize that it's a bit of a one, one way direction. Excuse me. And for the attacking team, playing the trade game, while it can be beneficial at some times, the defense is always most likely going to benefit from it. Just because the offense needs to have the diffuser down at the end of the round for the round to continue. All the defenders have to do is kill all the attackers. As that's what they're supposed to be doing. Common sense would say that. So we are going to go back upstairs. We see some yokai drones being put out. Looks like it is going to be... No, it's not going to be an open freezer. An opened up freezer hold. Looks like one trick are just going to make their way back all the way up. Five man repel up top. We're going to see what they're going to be able to do. They were able to get that opening pick last round. I don't know if history is going to repeat. But they are going to be doing some early drone work. That aggressiveness coming in from glue really early. One drone is going to get destroyed. There's another, one more drone, though, on the stage. Covering that cigar lounge area. The yokai cam is going to be moving over. It's going to try to gather that intel. And Glue is going to be playing Shiko very patiently. He's going to get droned out, though. They are going to be aware of his position. He's going to just uh, get back off of that. Play right underneath the skylight where he can't be spotted, really. He's going to try to play it a little bit safe. He has a very nice angle, though, 
onto one of those cigar shop windows, the stage window most uh, specifically. And one trick really taking their time though, just droning out as much as they can. But yet again, it is a bit of a one-way push. But they do have intel. At least I hope so. Glue is going to put some shots in. He's not going to be able to capitalize. And he's going to take some shots. He's going to take out Bolspur. But he's going to get traded immediately traded by Chrono. And the trade game, once again, is going to happen. Bam, not able to hit his shots. And if Finca still has her res, but no, Finca, instead of using her res, she's just going to get headshotted right away, coming through that rotate. Uno is going to take out Chrono, and it's not looking very good for one trick at the current moment. Uno is going to get downed. Vantic is going to be confirming that kill. Pot shots are going to be coming in. Vantek is going to see. He's going to put some pot shots into his own, but he's not going to land any. Just cat and mouse right now. We got 15 seconds left. About 10 seconds now. He's going to be holding that angle. Vantek's going to get one. Vantek's going to get two. Bam's going to trade out of his own. And Bam just has to wait for the defuse. And defuse is going to go down. But Bam is going to win his team the round. At least I hope so. And there it is. And we are now tied up one to one. Apparently we're having some audio issues. I hope this gets fixed. It has only been like my first cast in the past four months or whatever, so yeah, there's that. We are going to be going over into kitchen though. As we see what kind of preparations we're going to see as we see as we see. We're going to see I just said it again, but there's we're going to look into how about that? We're going to look into how um App State is going to be setting up this site. Are they going to go for the open freezer? It looks like not. They're going to stick it safe and just, I believe, bandit trick. Um, keep it simple. Throwing it back to, uh, throwing it back to, like, year one and three before Cade came out. I think that's keeping it safe. Um, I would prefer Cade, but bandit, he's got the three speed. He's got a very, I arguably think he has a better gun than Cade. He still has the nitro. So he should be able to do the job just as well. He just has to be a lot more diligent in, if he is going to ban a trick, which I don't think he is. I'm going to check and see. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's just going to be putting the bandits down. And they're just going to roll with it. We're going to see a top-down roam clear coming in from one trick. Very standard siege coming out right now. And in case if you didn't know, this is actually a spot that you can sit on on a kitchen gets you a very nice angle and speaking of nice angles glue trying to go for the cheeky headshot peak he's gonna put some shots in not enough to really scare anybody but damage is damage and that's going to put one trick uh never mind i thought that was going to maybe disarray them a little bit but it seems like they're just gonna do their usual roam clear Is Golden going to get an opening frag, though? That's the question. We do have Glue playing downstairs inside of Smallbake with a lot of utility being used. But is he going to get spotted? Yes, he is. 
Going to be dropped down to half health. Glue's going to have to play a little bit passively inside of this uh, coat check reception area. Boom is giving me a uh, seizure. <laughs> Swapping between those cams. Apologies if you can hear the train. Uh, there's a train outside my window. Uh, speaking of train, it looks like uh, App State running a train right there on the White Hall, but Golden's going to get a kill of his own. Is Golden going to get two? No, he's not. He's going to whiff his shots. Boom is going to get a kill. Bam's going to get really aggressive on this, and Bam's going to get rewarded. And that was a rather quick round. We are now down to round four. We're going to see reading fireplace. The gridlock pick is uh, really interesting. You don't really see gridlock a lot in Pro League. Usually you'll see like the Nomad, you'll see Zero, you'll see, uh, you, you usually see those two. You don't really see gridlock often in Pro Play and in competitive play just because um, she has great weapons, it's just her speed. And her gadget isn't really done much if you shoot all the spikes. Credit, you can shoot the Nomad Charges and the Zero Cams. But the Zero Cams can be hidden very well. Same, same thing with the Nomad Charges. Uh, the Nomad Charges can be hidden, but obviously they beep. So there's an audio call or an audio knowledge for the Nomad Charges. And looks like a lot of One Trick are just saving the drones. Looks like there's going to be a five-man spawn. Or... Are we going to see a five-man rush in the reading? We are... It's looking like it. <laughs> I honestly hope we see it. We got the gridlock. We got the gone sixes. We got the nades. Um, Doesn't look like it, though. Looks like we're going to go traditional on this one. Hatches are going to get popped. The defense is still setting up. They still have four reinforcements left. Bam's going to take a, not a lot of damage, but he's going to get those heals. So any damage that just happened has been completely negated. We're seeing one trick play the window game right here. Finally getting their drones inside of the building. They believe somebody's on minibar, but there's unfortunately there's nobody there. And it looks like everybody except for two people are upstairs for Appalachian State. Ace is going to get the first kill of the round, though. He's going to take out Tay. And that is the Jaeger. Apologies if you hear any dogs barking. Uno's going to put some pot shots in. Trying to go for those quick peeks. He's going to tag up Golden. Ace, meanwhile, is going to get the kill onto Glue. Gone sixes are going to go out. There's a ADS right in front of you. I don't know if you saw that. But that is the upstairs room completely gone. Looks like one trick have completely taken control of the uh, vertical play. Upstairs, so it's gonna be an uphill battle coming in from Appalachian State. Just a lot of angle watching right now. What I am, if I'm one trick, I want to get some drones on the site. I want to find out where they are. I want to find out the room game because um, you can control the vertical as much as you want, but unless you have those cutoffs and unless you have. Um, the necessary people. Oh, what a shot coming in from Golden. Good night to Bam. 
took the scalp right off of him with that shot. And Bam even recognizes that as well. We're going to see a plant coming in from one trick. Chrono is going to take out Uno. And it's all down to Boom with a shotgun and an SMG 11 and multiple angles. Never mind. He does not have a shotgun. He has the MP5. He's going to eat the frag grenade. But nope. Does not see Volsper due to the smoke of that frag grenade. And we're, I believe we're going to go be going into halftime. No, we're not. We got one, two more rounds. Apologies. I'm taking a sip of water. Don't you just love amateur casting? <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm... Hopefully I'm not peeking on the mic. I'm trying to keep my distance because I've had a bad history of mic peeking. Uh, that's kind of why I stopped casting, just because I didn't think I was good enough. But... I love TPO. These guys are the homies, so I cast for them exclusively. And we are going to be going back upstairs. Nothing really much has changed from these past couple of defenses. Um, if history repeats itself, we're going to be seeing these teams trade blow after blow after blow. And my voice is going to be shot by the end of it. I really want to see App State maybe roam a little bit more. From what I've seen from one trick, they do take their time droning. But I don't really think that their droning has really helped them win in terms of getting knowledge. Yes, they've had some very convincing run wins. But at the same time, it seems to be very inconsistent given by the scoreline. So maybe a run out or two. Uh, could maybe benefit because they're not really putting any utility for anti uh, run out or anti spawn peak which I mean you can't really have anti spawn peak uh, gadget or um, utility but you can have anti run out utility with air jabs claymores and as I'm rambling golden is gonna uh, get a headshot onto boom it looks like Volsper's already made his way into cigar shop but nope, Tay's going to say, nope, I don't want you there. He's going to take the head off of Volsper. He's going to get a little aggressive, though. Peeking an angle, he's going to take the head off of Ace. Golden's going to shut down Glue. And Tay has been downed. It is a game of... It's a game of East and West right now. F State are at a health disadvantage right now, but if they set up their crossfires, they should be able to pick off uh, one trick very easily. Like, look at this. This is a very big stack up right here. If you just take out one, the odds are there's going to be another one. You can take him out, and then you could just wait for the third. But you have to hit your shots, first of all. Fancy already knows that. Speaking of hitting shots, Tay's going to get one. Golden's going to refrag. Bam's going to take out Golden, but it's down to uh, Chrono and Uno. Uno's going to put some shots into Gold Chrono's back. I almost said Golden, my bad. 
Uno with the impact nade toss. It's not going to get down. Oh, no. Uno, what are you doing? Uno's going to get the clutch. Not the cleanest. But he is going to get the kill. And App State are going to be up 3-2. to two. They're going to go for that 4-2 split for the half. Like I said about the positioning, um, one, one trick, kind of just one trick, pixel hallway. Uh, they all stacked up. Um, sure, that's great for refrags, but um, you're you're kind of concentrating. You're putting your eggs in one basket on that. Um, they had the trash wall opened up, so they could have rotated out of there, but Tay was just right there to get the head. And it was just a game of trades at the end. This whole game has just been games of trades. Uh, it just kind of depends on who's going to win the early fights and who's going to uh, really just trade out more on the pushes. And so far, App State has done that. We're going to see a very, very standard sight set up here. Almost ranked-esque. Um, nothing too, too crazy. We got the shield set up inside of VIP. Um, not too sure about the shield facing... I'm guessing they're just trying to expect the VIP swing instead of playing aggressive on the Harry Potter walk-in or the storage walk-in. I'm not too sure about this. I've never really seen the shield be set up that way. And that is one funky looking super shorty. We are just seeing a solo roam coming in from Glue. He is the solo runner, solo roamer right now for App State. But he's going to shoot a drone. He's just going to weasel his way all the way back down. I want to say weasel. Uh, he's just going to make his way back down. He's got to find a position to play in, though. The... I don't want to say it's congested. But he does not have a lot of cover. He's going to have to play aggressive on the brown stairs. And one trick is going to start setting up their vertical play. They really need to take advantage of this vertical angle play. Um, get the people that are in sight out of the way. And then you can focus on the people outside of the site. When you begin your push. The freezer hatch has been opened. So that is good for one trick. They got it open without any fuss. But if you're going to go for a vertical take, it's going to be very common to see a lot of defenders play off-site and just hold crossfires. And there we go. Ace is going to get the first kill. Golden's going to be pushing in. Ace is going to take out Glue. Meanwhile, Chrono is going to be taking... He's going to down on the prep window. Or not the prep window, on the bunker. And Bam is going to be playing the bomb chassis. Tay is inside of prep. Bam is going to get taken out. Golden is going to take out Boom with a nade. And it's all down to Tay in a 1v5. Diffuser is going down. So many angles. One person cannot peek all at once. You just need to play patient and hold those crossfires. We got some vertical play coming in. And Tay is going to have to pull out a miracle. And that miracle is not today. 
as Corona is going to get the kill that round. And we're going to take a look at the halftime score. Corona is leading his team in the frag department. Uh, meanwhile, we've got a three-way tie on App State. So, as the scoreline says, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, even. I want to say one team has a clear advantage over the other. Um, that last round, though, from one trick was very well executed. They were able to get all the bodies safely. They opened up the hatch. They opened up the vertical. And they kind of just sandwiched in uh, App State and made them condense and made them scramble if they felt uncomfortable and they got the picks off of the rotations. Or they just pierced and they just got the picks on the key choke points. And here is a very interesting use of Oryx. He can pop open uh, destructible objects without losing any HP. Very easily. You don't need to waste any ammo. You don't need to waste any impacts. You don't need to waste... Uh, you don't have to punch it with a Rooney. You can just run into it with Flora. Or not Flora. You can run straight into it with Oryx. We're going to see the setup. We're well, going to see an open freezer setup. So unlike App State, where they closed up the freezer, we're going to be seeing an open freezer coming in from one trick. So that's going to provide a more aggressive playstyle on those windows and on the cigar lounge. And we're going to see a little bit of downstairs presence as well with that Oryx. He's going to be able to have or be able to use that extra mobility of his to take advantage and potentially get some flanks, potentially catch people off guard. Uh, that is a very nice yokai cam. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's uh, that is very well hidden. Good intel. But is Uno gonna go? Uno, it's clear. Golden's going to take out Glue. Uno. Uno's going to go for it. Echo's going to get off his cam in time. Uno, you're in a very sticky spot, my friend. Yokai's going to miss, but no. Chrono is going to hop out. Or Chrono's going to get a kill. Uno's going to hop out. Such a very nice idea, but very poorly timed. I believe it was probably a call given from the team. And Uno is going to get a kill on the Golden from the Claymore. Remember, operators have two Claymores now instead of one. So it completely... It doesn't completely, but it... Uh, it discourages defenders from running out so aggressively early on. Another very nice Yokai Cam coming in from Ace. Just toying with Uno. Up, 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 up. Chrono? <laughs> Chrono? You, you okay? Misclick? Uno with one, Uno with two. Is he going to go for the third? You have to remember that there are yokai camps right on him. I believe Uno is going to go for the plant. Yes, he is. Bantic just shoot to the wall, but no, Ace. Ace is going to kill Uno. And Bantic is going to kill Boom. And One Trick are going to find themselves up on the first round on their defensive half. Ah, oh, man. I really wanted to see that Osa just go through the window. Very unfortunate timing there.
Apologies. We are going to be seeing Tachanka. I'm always a sucker for a good Tachanka play. Some people argue whether he's better than Smoke. I personally think he is. Um, yes, he doesn't have the speed. Uh, but his LMG is much more versatile. He has longer range. Quicker penetration power. Uh, it's able to create rotates faster. Um, yes, he is slower. Slower ADS. But I think his uh, Molotov grenades more than make up for it. He still has the same secondary kit as smoke with the shield but I, I just think the chunk is better than smoke but most higher tier players consider smoke to be more um, comfortable due to his speed as well as his uh, shotgun And very similar to App State's roam game, only one roamer coming in from one trick. But they are not expend they're not expanding into VIP, they are rather expanding into bakery, but the Tichanka, but the Tichanka is not gonna do anything because Tichanka is dead. Tay's just gonna make his way right in. Air Jap's gonna go off. I don't know if that was caught by a well, my disc. But they are going to be aware of Volsper's position. Uno's going to take out Golden. Ace really needs to rotate down. Or he needs to hold the vertical angles which are being counter held. Or they were being counter held. By App State. App State are just going to funnel in. Bomb is going to go down. Volspro is going to take out Tay. Glue with the nade is going to get caught. One man and a dream. Ace is going to take out Glue. But the long angle being held by Bam is going to get the round win for one trick. Or not one trick, App State. Oh my lord. <laughs> App State just said, hey, we're just going to take Bakery. We don't need y your Tachanka. It's completely useless. Um, you left Kitchen wide open. The guy inside of Coke. Wasn't even holding the angle. Uh, your roamer. Late to rotate. Uh, not a very good recipe for one trick. Need to be a little bit quicker on rotations. And being quicker on holding. Or not be quicker on holding stuff. But be quick to react to. Uh, the play coming in from the attack. Because the attack has to adapt. To the. Defense. At the start. They got the 7th pick, or not the 7th pick, but they got the uh, swap operators while uh, drone phase is going on. Defenders, they don't get 6th pick anymore. 6th pick is not a thing. So, um, defense, you need to select your operators right. And you also need to adapt if your first defense doesn't work. And it may look like it's slightly changed a little bit. I see two roamers now instead of one. And it looks like App State are going to be changing their method of attack as well. Looks like they're going to go for a reception VIP take. They just If they've completely realized that this is all clear... They could just five men flood it. And all they have to worry about is white stairs and dirt in terms of flanks. They have the gun sixes. They have the utility burn. 
They just need the intel. But if you're one trick, you're happy with this because if you know it, you know it's going to be a one-way push. But looks like it's not going to be as Tay is going to make his way into small bakery. Motion sensor is going to give audio intel to one trick. But Tay's just going to be holding Harry Potter. He's in a very strong position. Ace is going to take out Boom. Golden is in another very strong position, but he's going to give that... Uh, oh! Oh no, that would have been a dirty angle to be held. But it's not going to happen. Tay's going to take out Chrono. Tay's going to take out Golden. And Tay is going to take out Volsper. Do not peek Tay with that LMG. He will win. That's what he's telling everybody. I'm predicting that this game is going to go to overtime. I am predicting that. No team... As far as I'm aware, and I probably haven't been paying attention, uh, I don't think a single team has won more than two rounds in a row. I could be wrong, but I don't. I don't really think that has occurred. Um, I feel as though these rounds have mostly been going off, like I've said, all match by the trade game, and just by. Um, either the defense is in position to counter or the offense just completely overwhelms the defense on the site and the roamers get picked off on the uh, rotation or early in the round. If one team can get two rounds in a row, obviously if App State gets two rounds in a row, they're going to win the match. But I think if one trick can win two rounds in a row on this defense, it's going to be very hard for F State to get that momentum back. It's going to be very hard because both these teams have just been trading blows and trading blows. And eventually, one team is going to just run out of steam. Seeing a little bit of early hatch play coming in. Or not hatch play. Skylight skylight play. Early skylight play coming in. Volsper ne really needs to watch his positioning here. Can't be caught off guard or else he's just going to get 8 up by that PDW on the skylight. And I'm sure that F State have caught on to Ace's Yokai cams. At least one of them. I do not know about the second one. But the sledge of BAM is going to get spotted out on that top red position. The flanks are going to be set up. Golden's going to take out Tay. That's a fairly important kill. That's your Sophia gone. That's a bunch of burn knocked out of the match. Or not out of the match, but out of the round. Uno's going to get really aggressive up on this uh, R90 mining clear. He's just going to be holding that R90 hall. Waiting for his drone. Very patiently. Very intelligently. Waiting for his teammate to drone him. Audio call. So they are going to be aware that Uno is perhaps somewhere in the mining area. But they are not going to be aware because visual... Visual intel is always the best intel in Siege. Chrono is going to get really, really aggressive here. Is he going to get rewarded though? Uh, no he's not. He is just going to put some pot shots in. Uh, uh, Uno! Cr Chrono! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> 
uh, Crodo, Uno just ran into the smoke trying to get an aggressive play. Crodo just sits there and gets a free double kill. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why didn't you spread out the pressure? They just all funneled down the red hatch, skylight, cigar lounge, cigar shop, one way. And it did not work out well. I don't know what Uno was thinking there. Why are you running into a smoke? I get you want to be aggressive, but you are not beating a shotgun unless you hit the head. Uh, the Mossberg, uh, speaking of Mossberg, uh, Bolsberg just ate a shot. Uh, very interesting though. The shield is going to be covering, uh, what appears to be the, the mining hallway. Is, are they going to have a 1.5 hold that? Is it going to be uh, Castle holding it or Smoke? Uh, I guess we're going to have to find out. As we're seeing a lot of angles being opened up by one trick. We've got a five-man uh, setup on the rooftop right now. F State really need to figure out what they want to push and how they're going to be pushing it. They've already opened up a um, mini wall. They've already opened up that. But they really need to start either burning utility or getting a pick off of an aggressive angle being held by one trick. Wolfsburg is at half health, so immediately at the beginning of the round, F State was at uh, HP advantage, but no, they are not at mana advantage. Um, as Golden is going to get the opening kill of the round onto Tay, and that's your Sophia gone. I believe that is the second round in a row. Tay has died first. Not very good, especially since you lost your Sophia. Uh, 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 <laughs> Ace is going to meet the aggression. Shotgun pistol is going to prevail. Ace is going to take out Bam. Chrono is going to be denying any library push coming in with those smoke canisters. Glue is going to be tossing a nade, but Chrono is deep inside of library. Bam's going to put some shots in. Or that's not bam, that's boom. Nearly runs into the frost mat there. It's not gonna hit his shots on the Volsper. Playing very, very patiently on that white stairs. Good play by him. And it's all down to glue. Who has to deal with the shield? Uh the R90 cam is still up. And he is not gonna be able to clutch it out. And that round is gonna go to one trick. We are on match point, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a very long, hard fought game. I still think it's going to go to overtime. But One Trick really needs to secure this opportunity to win the game. Uh, App State has been on their butts, has been on them uh, all game. Neither team can shake each other off. Uh, we're going to see an Amaru. That's going to be interesting. Attackers 
officers need to locate and defuse bombs. We're going to be seeing a kitchen defense. Which I believe App State won fairly comfortably at least once by the heroics of Tay, who managed to get, I believe, a quad kill or tr triple or quad kill uh, that round. It looks like we're going to see an aggressive uh, roam game coming in from the second floor. We've got a rotation. Onto the chandelier, we've got uh, the mining hallway reinforced off. No vertical being made though, just yet inside of mining or train. Uh, I believe Castle is just going to be setting that up after his initial prep is finished. But we're going to go for this Tachanka opened kitchen strat again. This Tachanka really, Kroto seriously needs to play for time here. He cannot get too ridiculously aggressive. Uh, because if Tachanka goes, that is going to be extremely, extremely, extremely detrimental. Bantic is going to get the opening kill the round onto Bam. Glue is going to make his way up, but he's going to get taken out by Ace. And it's not looking very good for App State as they are already two men down and we have not even at the two minute mark. Very early deaths coming in from App State. Uno is going to see the Echo rotate. Going to put some pot shots in. Nothing coming of it. Chrono is going to take a little bit of damage. I don't know if he walked into his own fire on accident or he just took a... Oh, I believe it was just a... The very, very minimal damage from an impact nade onto his shield. Uno is going to get a nade kill on the golden. Volsper is going to run back into sight. But Abstate have a serious control of restaurant and uh, reception side. Tay could not get in. He's going to push past the fire. He's going to get really aggressive. Bantic is going to take out Boom. And Tay is going to take out Chrono. Chrono not even hearing the crouch walk. Tay's going to take out Volsper. Oh, nice shots coming in. Uno's going to take out Vantic. And oh, no. One trick. One trick. What are you doing? We're going to go to overtime. Caster's curse did not happen. Overtime is confirmed. We are going all the way. <laughs> Just like before, Tay entering in. Um, maybe walking through that fire was a very risky play, but he managed to get away with it. And he's been hot with that LMG all day. All match long. Uh, we're in a very big LMG meta right now. Most to the dismay of many comp players. As they believe that the LMG is just... Uh, LMG go burr. Uh, no reload. Uh, team no reload. <laughs> but... I mean, you still have to hit your shots at the end of the day. And you can argue that, oh, one headshot to the head, or one shot to the head, is just going to take out uh, the LMG player, or the LMG user, which is true. But when you're on attack, you have the, you have more sights, you have the, you have the 2.5 ACOGs, you have the 1.5s. Um, some of the guns have 2.0 sights. You get a lot more uh, zoom in on your sights than a defense. Only a select few operators on defense have the 1.5, and that's why they are capped. Unless, I believe, Rook has a 2.0 sight as well. Uh, Golden uh, is going to be meeting Glue on the Rappel. Uno is going to take out Vantic. And Tay is going to take some damage of his own. 
Looks like Bam is all the way downstairs. He's going to make his way up dirt. Or not up dirt, up brown. I'm thinking of Clubhouse. He is being droned out currently. A nice nade from below could do wonders for App State. But they have to be wary about those yokai cams. Because the Echo is going to have the ability to see everything. And that nade is going to get chucked. Ace is going to eat it. Uno is very patient on that white staircase. He's just waiting for Golden to pop his head out. Double grenade coming in. It's not going to work. Uno is going to eat his own grenade. And App State seem to be a little stuck right now. They've got a lot of people downstairs. And not a lot of people trying to take these very good choke points. As I say that though, a very nice capital bolt coming in. Golden though is going to take out Bam. Blue's going to be repelling in. And Uno is going to be causing mass damage, but Chrono is going to shut him down. Chrono is going to get a double. Is Chrono going to get the triple? They do have cams on the capital. Chrono is going to shoot. I heard the, I heard the damage sound come out, but no damage was taken. Chrono's just going to make his way casually. Going to whiff his shotgun shot. Glue's going to take him out. Glue's going to miss his shots. Onto, I believe that was Volsper. And Tay playing very patiently on this new belt corner. Going to try to get the wide angle onto Cocktail. It's not going to be able to get it. He is going to spot the head of Ace, but no, Ace is going to eat it. And he's going to take out Tay. LMG go burr as Glue is going to take one. Is he going to be able to take two? We're going to find out pretty soon. Not checking corners, and no, Volsper is going to be able to take him out. And one trick, or one round away again from winning the match. And I believe this will be their first win of the season because the season just started. Not because they're having a bad season. Solo casting takes its toll on the mental. So much to talk about. So little time. So little point of views. Points of views. If that's plural. And we are on match point. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. They are going to be running the bandit instead of the Cade because Cade is banned. It took me a while to realize that. I casted, or I was here for the bands. And I completely forgot the Kato's was banned. Uh, looks like App State are opting to extend over into VIP. It's very uh, opposite forms of defense for both these teams. One team opted to defend Bakery. Meanwhile, the other team decides to defend VIP. Uh, one's a little bit more aggressive than the other. But that just comes down to team's playstyles. And so far, neither team has been able to uh, get a massive trump card over the other. We are on match point. We're going to see if... Looks like a five-man roam clear, a three-man roam clear. Vantek's going to make his way into the library. It's not going to be a very uh, fast run clear. All they need to do is drone out Glue. And I believe that is it. Yes, that is it. Glue is the sole roamer for App State. And one trick are going to be making their way down. 
And has Glue gone down? Yes, he has. He has been spotted, has been drawn out. Hopefully, one trick drones out White Stairs very thoroughly because if not, they could just assume, oh, Jaeger just went all the way downstairs. But nope, Jaeger's going to get spotted. And now Glue is going to go all the way downstairs. He's going to be playing in the little storage corner. But he's been found out again. And he's retreated all the way down to VIP. Meanwhile, looks like One Trick have set up their vertical play. Fantix going to take a C4 or an impact nade. C4 is going to go up though. Nothing comes of it. Pulsepro is going to be setting those tracks. Or stinger tracks on the ground staircase. Ace is going to start pushing down white. Glue's going to read that drone. Glue's going to take out that drone. Tay's going to get the first kill of the round on the golden. And Glue really needs to be careful. Because if he's not paying attention, an aggressive swing coming in from white with no crossfire being held is not going to work very well with him. But one trick is... Is that a four-man hash drop? Yes, it is. Vance is going to get a kill. Ace is going to get a kill. Ace with the diffuser. Ace is going to start planting. Vance is holding a very nice... Oh, he's going to rotate over. Capital Firebolt going to cut off. But no, Glue with the vert. The Yokai drone. You have to find the Yokai drone. Glue's going to drop and Glue's going to take both of them out. And we are going to the very final round of overtime we are going all the way ladies and gentlemen all the way and uno <laughs> almost dropping a 20 bomb uh meanwhile three players on one trek have over double digits so it is a little bit balanced both these teams have been able to get kills it's just um it's uno on app state and then it's the three on one trick and in my calculations three players are more than one so if we go by quick math uh I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It, either uh, anything can happen. We're on overtime. And this overtime round is going to be played on reading and dining. I believe one trick won the round pretty comfortably uh, when they defended this. Are we going to be seeing a library rush? It's a potential. I don't think it's going to happen with the operator lineup that uh, App State have. But it is a possibility. They do have pre placed cams in Mining Hall, downstairs, outside. And no, it's not going to be a rush. It's going to be a very traditional take. So, sorry guys. We're not going to see a library rush. Unless they just completely flip-flop what side they're going to be on and go from there. Early nade is going to get tossed out from BAM. That's going to lead to absolutely nobody. And there is... I believe that is Chrono all the way downstairs. Maybe going for a spawn peek. Or he was going for a spawn peek and it just didn't work out. There is no shield on the library head holes now. There is instead a full rotation. And the castle barricade on F2 is going to get opened up. Grenade is going to take some damage off of Ace. Corona is going to be playing underneath inside of mining. But App State really needs to start taking ground. They need to start getting intel. Vantex is going to take a lot of HP. And Ace is going to hit Uno on the head. That is the top fragger at F State gone. Nice shot in the chat. 
Bam's gonna take out Golden. Bam's gonna take out Ace. And it is a 3v4. Frost Matt, no. Thankfully, he has teammates to revive him. Mantic's playing very passive on this cocktail. Uh, but Volsper is going to get a double kill. Volsper coming up. And no, what are you looking at? And he's staring at a corner. Vantix going to take out Tay. Vantix going to drop down. He's going to play sight. And Volsper's double kill just might have won the game. Or one trick. Glue's really going to have to pull something out of his hat. He's going to produce some magic. And the fr <laughs> oh, no! The frost mat. Two frost mats. Oh no. Final score is 8 to 7 to one trick. The Frost Mat wins the game. <laughs> All right. GG's to One Trick. That is a great win for them. We are going to be getting an interview with the winner of tonight's match. We're just waiting. On a drag from our admins. So I can get an interview. Um, overall, the game was fairly close. Um, I wouldn't say it was the epitome of competitive siege, but... Uh, I believe both teams had a pretty good showcase. Um, both teams really need to start paying attention, though, to um, potential changes to their pushes. I saw a, a lot of one-dimensional pushes tonight. And um, it was a case of, especially uh, like downstairs, it was the case of, oh, our team pushes Bakery, and then, oh, the other team is pushing top floor all the way back down. Uh, which is very good to see, like, um, two different teams have different play styles. But I think if, um, both teams had their cut off set up and they were in, uh, better positionings on attack, um, either team could have done better on attack. And maybe a little bit more better drone work. I think one trick had better drone work, but I don't think their positioning was as good as it needed to be. And that's what let uh, App State get a lot of those kills and win a lot of those rounds. But it was a very good uh, game by both teams. And we're still waiting on an interview. Uh, I believe Golden is here. Um, what, what, what would you like for me? I've, I've never done anything. Oh, well, welcome. Hi. Uh... How are you feeling? You know what? I, I'm going to be honest with you. None of us have a lot of comp experience. Very little. I'm, I am the only one with any. And um, going into that, it was very, very nerve-wracking. And going against a team as competent as uh, App State, it was very, very scary. Um, and after those first couple rounds, we were like kind of a bit sh shooken up. But we're, we're a better defensive team than we are attacking. And it really showed there. Um, 
we, we, we were able to get some traction there going on the defensive rounds. The attacking, I believe, we went 3-3, which we were really happy with going into that. Um, we noticed that they were not too heavy on the uh, upstairs takes, so we kind of took advantage of that with some holes. Um, I don't even think they took upstairs once, maybe sending one player, but it was very, especially on the lower sites, uh, like uh, basement, it seemed like uh, we were able to really take advantage of that, and it, I believe it had helped us win the game. Yeah, um, I, I do think that um, your kitchen, uh, your your kitchen was countered um, just because um, Tay, what that Sophia LMG, he was just in there on bakery. He took out Chrono. He was able to get those long angles. Um, but I think kitchen could have been needing work. Um, but I'm glad that you guys won. It was a very good te game by both teams. Uh, are you guys excited for your next week game? Or oh, yes, Acme. I, I actually casted them a little while ago. I don't know. It was like a week ago. They seem very, very confident, very, very structured. Uh, they have a couple mistakes, but I think uh, it's it's going to be a hard game. I, I'll be surprised if we come out on top on that one due to the fact that we have such little experience. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, I just want to say, App State, you guys did fantastic. Um, you played a hell of a game and I, I I we underestimated the the opponents in this league and I think that going into it they they kind of uh, what's the word uh put us in check and I, I like that and they, they played a fantastic game each day and as you did say they brought up a couple weaknesses that we have like our bakery hole was not the best um Tay did a fantastic job of being able to get in there and really uh, screw everything up for us and that's what you want to see in the team that's what you want to see they, they they found the weaknesses their IGL is definitely doing his job um, and I think that the more games after State plays, uh, next game may not be so, uh, close and we might get smoked. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say, really. Well, I guess that's a wrap. Uh, c congratulations to Golden and One Trick for their first win. Uh, I'm very happy. I think I did pretty well for my first cast in about four or five months. So... You'll be seeing my voice, or you'll be hearing my voice uh, a lot more often. Um, but I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, congrats again to One Trick. And we will see you guys whenever the next game is. Thank you.